Hello and welcome to my tutorial about lab hops. So, um, yeah, what are the subjects of today? Today I want to show you to find a good and economical uh, body position in playing your lap harp because I know that it's always a bit tricky. Um, the second subject will be about clothes, so about what to wear when I play the harp and um, maybe even more important um, what to avoid to wear when I play the harp because there could be damage or there could be noises. Um, and the third subject for today will be about tuning my lap harp. In this tutorial I want to make you ready to play all of my pieces for small harps so enjoy the basics in this tutorial. I show you now the first kind of playing a lap harp, how to get a good position in holding it. First, cross your legs like this and keep your back nice and straight. If you found a relaxed position, grab your harp, put it between your legs. You have a kind of platform here now to stabilize it. As well, um, be careful that it doesn't land like this because you can't play, of course. It always is a bit to your right shoulder, like this. You can keep your time, just find a relaxed position. When you feel good and have a good feeling now for beginning to play, um, try out that your arms have enough room, <laughs> that is not good with my cupboard. If you feel something like this, just go over a bit with your stool, find the position again and try again. You should have enough room for your arms to have a comfortable playing feeling. For me this is the most natural way to play any lap harp. I never went into troubles with my back or anything. I always feel very balanced. So I can highly recommend this position. Um, it is a kind of practice in a way. Um, always good to do it just a few times. You just sit down straight back. Feel a position you feel well for the um, the ones of you who are making yoga. Feel that straight up feeling. Then cross your legs. You have the natural platform here already. You just put the harp in, and there is one position where it is absolutely easy to hold. Then make sure that it is to your right shoulder in a nice position. You can as well try to find this position. Then bring your hands into playing position. Make sure that the elbows have enough room and try to play. So I hope um, it helps a bit. So try out to find your position in that way. Another very comfortable way to play a lap harp is uh, using a lap bar. This lap bar is as well um, is designed for the Adventure 20 and it comes as well from the company Durbin Harps. And I'll show you now how to uh, bring it on your harp. You first open the screw. It has two parts. A longer part which will land on your legs like this so you have um, this as well for the legs that it is stabilizing your harp you can open it and screw just a bit that you have a bit that you can um, it's maybe easier to show it that way so that you can um, now put some um, the harp between this and now you grab your harp and the lap bar goes into this sound hole and 
And um, the easiest thing to do it is um, making the lap bar like a cross, pushing it first in like this, and then down. So it is still a cross. Please take care that these openings for the legs showing down. So if you have done this, you can start scooping it back. Always um, take care that it doesn't um, go into the wrong direction here. <laughs> Always a bit of a trying. So, and if you feel that it is stable, don't screw too much. It could damage the heart. Just always fear and try. I have a good feeling now here. And if it is like this, you can just turn the hop and use this to hold it comfortable on your legs. Um, you still have now the problem that the hop is maybe a bit um, to, near, to your neck and not to your shoulder. You can adjust this um, by taking one leg down a bit. You see, this goes down then and gives you a more comfortable playing position. Um, there's another thing you can do. You can re-skew uh, re a bit and um, make the um, leg bar a bit more like this. Then um, you can try out the best body position for you. You see, this is not completely horizontal now. And um, it might be more comfortable. Um, I have it mostly like this. Um, so not completely horizontal, but a bit more down to the right. Um, that gives me more um, room here for my shoulder. But that is always a reason. You can just try out and play with it with the right position. Um, my video should uh, give you a few ideas to play with this position. I think for the lap bar, um, you don't have to cross your legs all the time and it makes it um, much more comfortable to play. So the lap bar is a very healthy and comfortable way to play the harp. Um, the only disadvantage is maybe the time you need to attach and to detach from the harp. You might feel yourself a bit less spontaneous in playing the harp. For those of you who like playing the harp standing, a strap is maybe a good option. You have the harp securely around your body. Um, to attach the strap, you need strap locks. One uh, at the right top of the harp and one on the left bottom. Um, these straps are adjustable here, so you should find the right length for you. Um, for me, it's always the most comfortable um, length that the harp is not near to my chin. It is always oh, room here. Um, and another advice is um, to not wear the harp next to your neck, like this because um, it is a very uncomfortable feeling for the body and to have the weight on that position. So to avoid this, just bring your strap a bit further out to your shoulder in the direction of your arm, like this. And you have it that way, a bit to your right shoulder. Um, it is not completely um, straight, it is a bit tilted, as you see. And for me, this gives a very nice and uh, stable position to play. So, um, feel free uh, to play around with your um, body position while standing up. That's the last option for today to play a lap harp. Um, as you can see, I attached it on a stand. Um, 
This scent is um, from the brand Harpsicle Harps, but it works nicely for the Adventure 20 by Durbent Harp. So I um, attached it the same way as if you would attach a lip bar by this screw. And you have a very stable and secure um, possibility to play standing up. That's very nice. Um, it's a very good um, feeling when you play. And uh, the good thing is when you're on a stage, uh, you can act, you can sing, you can have your microphone there. It's a very um, free feeling of playing and you don't have the weight around your shoulder while um, playing. So um, I think it's a beautiful um, option to play a lap harp. For me, it is the most comfortable. I often play like this. Uh, what you see here, um, this is an electric harp. It has a built-in pickup, uh, a built-in pickup, and I can here um, put it into my um, amplifier, so I can play this harp amplified on the stand, and it makes it very versatile. So the next subject I wanted to talk to you today is what to wear when I play the harp. Um, it is not so much about dressing up and looking nice, which is of course important, <laughs> um, but uh, even more not destroying the harp, so make scratches in uh, the surface of the harp and um, as well not make buzzing noises. Because everything which gets attached on the harp will make buzzing noises, which is not uh, pleasant for a performance. And as well, you will have scratches. So look at my shirt today. <laughs> it's a good example. I have embellishment. I look nice. But it's on the outside of my arms. And when I grab my harp, um, nothing of this embellishment touches my harp and I can play without buzzing noises. Um, I will tell you what are the most um, important things to avoid to wear. Um, first I would say a buttoned shirt is not a good option. You can imagine when you have your buttons here and you then play you will have guarantee uh, of a buzzing noise all the time of your playing and you will have scratches on your harp. So avoid a bottom shirt. Um, the next, next thing which is difficult is uh, for us women or maybe for you men as well, I don't know. Um, it's an, always a matter of taste to wear a necklace because the necklace is here. <clears throat> and when you play, um, you of course have the harp not always in one position, it, um, it varies a bit. And it will scratch and it will make buzzing noises. So avoid necklaces. I know that's uh, hard to do because I love necklaces, but it is not good to play the harp with them. Um, another very difficult thing is zips. So when you have a zip, here it will of course ruin your harp surface and will make noises so um everything which you wear um on your chest or in that area should be um as velvety as soft as possible i have here a um cotton shirt and that is very good for the harp so you don't have any noises it is a comfortable feeling, of course, and um, you won't ruin your harp surface. So, last subject for today is tuning a lap harp. Um, with its maybe difficulties, you have to hold the harp, stabilize the harp on your lap. I showed you at the beginning of the video, and now we try to tune the harp in this position with the crossed legs. So you grab your tuning key 
and um, your tuning device. You can you use any tuner you like. I use an app. It's called Clear Tune. It's recommendable for tuning the harp. So you put the tuning device, the tuner, um, that you can see it very well. Um, and then I start always with the F, middle F. Um, I always think the harp tuning stabilizes better when you start kind of in the middle. And for me it's easy, it's blue, it's good to see, so it's a good starting point. Um, then I put my tuning key on the tuning pin and plug the string. So this string is to flat. If I want to sharpen a string, I pull the tuning pin next to my body, like this. You hear it's getting sharper. So, and if I did this, now I did it a bit too sharp. When I wanted to flatten the string, I push my tuning key away from me. It's a good, um, you can memorize it like this. If you want to flatten, push away from you. If you want to sharp, pull to yourself. So I will now flatten this. So until I have um, the right key for my F. I then go downwards the harp. If I have tuned my F, I go to my E. Take the next one, pull, um, plug it as well a bit flat, so I pull it to me. Until the string is in tune, and then I go down. And I do this until I'm absolutely down. Then I start again from the F and make a test if the harp um, kept her tuning. So I start to play the F again. It's a bit flat, so I just adjust it just a bit. Um, pull it to me. And now it's perfect. Then I go up and finish the tuning to the harp. Um, with this method, uh, method, I always have the feeling the tuning keeps for a very long time and keeps stable. So it is just an advice. Um, another advice is um, make very sure <laughs> that you have the right tuning pin. Because sometimes it happens, you want to tune the F. But put the tuning key on an E and when you then plug the F and do something here, nothing happens. And if you pull it too hard, of course the string can break. So be always very careful to really have the right tuning pin. And that's my advice. Yeah, that is... Um, now my advice for tuning, so just uh, try out um, to keep your harp in tune. Then we can start with my pieces for small harp in the next lesson. Goodbye!